Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica McCleskey if you're new here. Today I'm going to be showing you my super quick get ready for me with work routine so you can use this for work or school because I know back to school is coming up quick here. Um, so it took me less than 20 minutes. It takes a little bit longer because I'm talking to you guys, but I'm actually about to run out the door for work right now. So if you do end up liking the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up turn on those post notifications and subscribe to my channel. I will also link all my other social media down below so you can go follow me over there. And let's just jump into the video. So first what I like to do is start off with prepping and priming my skin. So I'm taking these from Ula Henriksen. It's the Banana Bright Eye Cream and the Sea Rush Gel Cream. I already washed my face. Just taking a little bit of the eye cream and just rubbing it in. And I'm actually getting ready for work right now, so gotta make it snappy. <laughs> and then I'm taking my moisturizer. And then it's really up to you if you wanna use an actual face primer too. I do have the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer as well. And sometimes I'll mix it, mix it with my Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Just if I want a little bit of color, picking a little bit of my primer. Then I usually like to do my brows while my moisturizer is soaking in. So I like to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel and just run it through my brows. Too much stuff on my hands. So this just really will like volumize your brows and make them look like you spent time on them even if you really didn't. Thankfully I was blessed with pretty good brows so they're pretty filled in already I guess you could say like I don't really have too many sparse spots. My voice is a little raspy this morning. So I just take it like at the middle of my brow and start lightly brushing it through to the tail. And then I go back to the front of my brow and lightly run it through the front and then bring it all the way to the back again. And if you wanna use this to like fill in your brows more, you can take just the very tip of it or you can even take like an eyebrow brush and dip it on the wand and do it that way. Then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. By the way, the um, dip brow gel is shade taupe and my pencil is shade blonde. And I'm just filling in like mostly by the arch where I want a little bit more definition. And when I'm really in a hurry, I like to do my brows first because as you can see, it's kind of messy. So then I can just clean it up with my concealer really fast. I just do a few little strokes towards the front. And that's about all the time I spend on my brows when I'm going to work. Then I'm taking their little base pencil. This is the Pro Pencil in Base 1. I'm just using this to clean up under my brow. And this kind of acts as like an eye primer too. So if you want, you can just run it all over your lid. And I just blend it out with my finger or like a flat concealer brush, whatever you're in the mood for really. And then I will set the brows at the end. So usually if I'm going to work, I like to use more cream products and I don't really use foundation. So if you are a person where you need foundation, you can definitely add that in. Um, but today I'm not going to do that. So what I usually start out with is this Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. This is the shade Baked. And I just run it under my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, some on my chin, and then up on my forehead by my hairline. And then I just like to take a foundation brush. This is the Sigma Round Kabuki. And just start working it in. And I don't really put any like on the center of my face because I'm going to go back with my concealer there just to highlight the rest of my face. And when I am blending in my cream products like bronzer, I blend them in an upwards motion 
just so it doesn't get like muddy looking down along here. And I just really roughly and quickly blend this out and then I go back and just fix it a little bit. I just like to get it all spread out first. Then you can take a little, put it on your lids, like up in your crease, just whatever is left on your brush. Or you could use it as your eyeshadow. Then I go in with my concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan. And I just like to brighten under my eyes, center of my forehead, chin. You can kind of spot conceal any problem areas. A little down my nose. If you want, you can put some here too, but I usually just take whatever's left over on my brush and put it there. And I just blend it out with a brush. And if I need to, I go back with my makeup sponge. I just usually blend it into where my bronzer stick ends just so we don't have any harsh lines and just tapping over where I put it on any blemishes just kind of go around my brows just to clean up any accidents I probably made <laughs> I'm not the most careful in the morning or when I'm getting ready for work usually usually in a hurry And then I just run it along under where I put that cream bronzer and it just kind of cleans it up. Then I like to take my damp beauty sponge and just press it all over my face just to help everything blend better. Then I take a liquid blush. This one is the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. And I like to take just a little pump on the back of my hand and then I dip my brush or my sponge into it and just lightly start stippling it on my cheeks. And it can look kind of intense at first, but I'll go over it with my sponge again and that'll tame it down. And I put some up on my eyes too, just so everything is kind of like monochromatic and blends together really nice also saves you time on your eyeshadow. Hey Sasha. Sasha came down to join me. She's been naughty and peeing down here in the basement where I film. So if anyone knows how to make her quit, <laughs> let me know. I feel like I've been cleaning spots every day. But if you do need a good carpet cleaner spray, the it's not Fanola. Well, of course, now I can't think of it. I don't know, I got it on Amazon. It's in like a white and purple bottle. <sighs> Give me a hat. I'm taking my sponge again, just blending it all over that. And I'm lightly going to powder my face now. For work time, I've really been liking this one from Becca. It's the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It almost feels kind of wet when you put it on. So this says, keep me closed to keep me cool. So just blend out any creasing you may have formed. I don't really have any, but it's just a habit. And then I dip it right in here. And then press it in under my eyes, on my eyelid basically wherever I get the most creasing. And then whatever is left on the sponge, I just kind of run it all over the rest of my face just to set everything. While that's sitting, I'm quickly going to do my eye makeup. So using the new Morphe Jeffree Star palette, I'm gonna take the shade Lynn. It's like a really light nude shade using a Sigma tapered blending brush and just running it all over. Then I'm taking the shade right next to that, which is called 1985. It's just a little bit of a darker nude. It's almost like my skin tone, but a little bit darker. I'm just running it into my crease as my transition shade. 
Then I'm going to take the shade Boss Angeles, which is like a, almost like a burnt orange, but a little bit darker, kind of like a reddish orange. And just pressing that into the outer corner and then up in my crease. Looks more orange on, I think. And this brush is too big for this, but whatever. We're in a hurry. <laughs> Don't have time to dig around for brushes right now. And if you want, you can bring it all over the lid. You guys hear Sasha breathing. She's like right next to me on the floor. I think she knows she was bad. And I know if this is a little crazy for you, I thought this was gonna be more of a brown shade. So we're gonna actually tone it down just a little bit using this dark brown. It's called Hi Dude. And just putting that kind of over the top, but focusing it a little more into the crease. See that kind of toned down the color a little bit. And then you can also like go over it with your transition shade, just like a light nude shade, and that'll tone down the color too. And if you're like, blush or bronzer ever gets too intense, just go over it with your translucent setting powder and that'll tone it down too or mute it a little bit. Okay, so quickly just gonna blend it out using that first shade, Lin. Then I'm taking this shimmer shade, it's called Girl. Just using my finger, putting it all over the lid. Sasha. And I'm taking the shade Dog Mom, which is like a light shimmery pink. Putting a little bit of that over the top. And then for eyeliner, I don't usually wear eyeliner to work during the day. Just taking more of like a dense brush. I'm taking that brown shade Dog Mom. running it along my lash line just to create like a smoked out liner effect. Otherwise if you prefer you can take like your eyeliner and then um, just go over it with more of a dense brush and smoke it out a little bit. I also like to do that for work or daytime looks. I pretty much do that with all my eyeliner actually but you know, and then slightly under my eyes, doing a little bit of color, taking that second transition shade, 1985. And then I'm taking the same brush I did the brown with on the top, just doing a little bit on the lower half under my eyes. Then I'm going to dust away any powder that's on my face. I like to do this before mascara. And then I'm just adding a little bit of bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Sunstalker Bronzer. I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks a little more. Don't know what's happening here. Wiped off some of my powder weird or something. Interesting. Anyways. And bronze up your neck too. And then I just curl my lashes. If you wanted, you could use a liquid highlighter as well, but I will probably just use a powder today. And I'm taking this mascara, it's from The Balm. It's the Mad Lash Mascara. But first I'm going to set my face. This is the new Morphe Jeffree Star Starberry Setting Mist. It smells so good. And I just, Pat it in with my beauty sponge and then mascara. 
and I'll speed through this. The brush on this mascara is more like the rubber sponge. So I find these are good if you have hooded eyes. So you can really get at the root of your lashes without getting mascara all over your eyelid. I just feel like this one makes my lashes look super long. And I put a tiny bit on the bottom. My lower lashes are really long, so I have to be careful. <laughs> and I go back and just do another coat right away. If I'm being picky, I'll usually let my mascara dry between coats. But for work, nah, like whatever. If I put makeup on to go to work, it's a good day. So, if you work with me, know that. <laughs> I know some of my coworkers watch my videos. <laughs> um, then just taking the shade Welcome, which is that bright white shade. Just putting a little bit in the inner corner. This will just help your eyes look more awake, even if you didn't get a bunch of sleep last night, which I did not. I need all the help I can get. And I put a little under my brow bone too. And then just taking a little bit of highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlight. So sad this one's discontinued. And I put a little bit on my cheekbones. I don't want to be too crazy. I'm a social worker, so I don't know. I usually go into places where I don't want to look too glamorous. <laughs> okay, one for lips. I just like to do a gloss. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Gloss in the shade Peach Fizz. And then I'll just set my brows. Now we're done. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It's just a clear gel. I have the Anastasia one too and I like that one just as much. I just can't find it at the moment. And obviously I'll go fix my hair and put on some work clothes, but this is my finished look for how I usually get ready for work. Usually the eyeshadow, lips, whatever are a little bit different, but my face routine and everything is about the same. So if you guys enjoyed it, please remember to like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!